Welcome to Host Morning Devotion this Wednesday, August the 19th. Have you ever had a day that just didn't go the way that you had planned? You had made plans on what you were going to do that day. Maybe you'd even made a list of things that had to be done. And you'd prioritize that list to make sure that you got everything done. They come to the end of the day and there had been interruptions, there had been things that hadn't gone right, and maybe there was mistakes made even during that day, but come to the end of the day and you just think, this has been a really bad day. I'm glad that it's over. Well, there was a young man who was having a tough time of it. He wanted all sorts of things, but he didn't have the money to buy them. So he decided he'd rob a bank, but he didn't know how to rob a bank, so he got on the internet to find out how. And we all know you can find anything you want to on the internet. Sure enough, there it was, and all the items that he needed. So he went out and he purchased a gun, then he purchased a mask, and he purchased a bag to carry the money in. And then he rehearsed what he was going to say and how he was going to say it. He was going to say, don't mess with me. This is a stick up. Don't mess with me. This is a stick up. Don't you mess with me. This is a stick up. The next day he went to the bank and he joined the line in front of the teller. But as he waited, he grew more and more nervous. And by the time he walked up to the teller, he pulled his, then he pulled his mask up and he struggled to get the gun in the bag out of his pocket. And he whispered to her, put all the money in this bag. But the bag was still in his hand at his side. So he pulled it up and shoved it at her. And then to make matters worse, instead of saying, don't mess with me, this is a stick up. He said, don't stick with me, this is a mess. <laughs> and it certainly was. He was having a really bad day, thankfully for the teller. Nothing turned out the way he wanted it to. But we all have days when things go wrong. Seems like the farther you go, the behinder you get. Words come out the wrong way. Can't find your car keys. Maybe the spouse is in a really bad mood. Or the interstate is a parking garage and you have an important appointment to get to. You said something that someone took wrong. You didn't mean it that way, but they certainly took it that way. You know, it's one of those days where you either want to hit something or scream in frustration or just cry. So what do you do when you're having a very bad day? It's really hard to keep your cool when things go wrong and when things happen to interrupt your plans. Things didn't always go smoothly for Jesus either. There were times, too, when he said something that offended people, even though it was the truth. And as close as he was to the disciples, and as much as he told them about God, and as much as he explained who he was and why he was here, they just never seemed to get it. And there was always the needy people following him, demanding his time and his help, interrupting his day. But he never turned them away. I would imagine it was very trying at times for him. But when he needed time to recoup, what did he do? He found time to talk with his father. There's passages in the Bible that says he went away by himself to pray. God's word helps us to get through a very hard day. And let me tell you some of those. First, take it to the Lord in prayer if you're having a hard day. In Psalms 50, 15, it says, Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you will glorify me. Second, give it over to God. Don't worry about it. Philippians 4, 6, and 7 says, Don't be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. Third, rejoice in God's love for you. 1 Thessalonians 5, starting at 16 Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Fourth, rest in Christ. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. 
to 30. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Fifth, and finally, find peace. John 16, 33. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. If that wannabe bank robber would have relied on God for help in his situation, he wouldn't have tried to rob the bank. If he had read God's word, thou shalt not steal, he wouldn't have gotten on the internet to find ways to do evil. And if he had known God's love for him, he may not have had the wrong desires in the first place. He might have had a really okay day. I pray your day goes well, and if it doesn't, you know who to turn to. 2 Thessalonians 3.16 says, Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with you all, and may this be a really great day. Amen.